Hello and welcome guys. Welcome to my collection tour. So first we're gonna start off with down here, the garage. Behind me we've got a 1941 Philip 66 gas pump. To my left we got a 1959 Studebaker Silverhawk in one to one scale. Check it out guys. And to my right we got a 1957 Ford Custom 300. And on it we got a 49 Hudson, a 62 Pontiac, 85 Oldsmobile, and a 71 Vesta Cruiser. Now let's check out over here. This was, this right here is that's my, that's just starting right there. I'm gonna make, put like glass cases like that on this wall eventually at one point. Mm -hmm. And then over here, check it out. This is downstairs. Go ahead, check over there. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? You got, let us comment down below which one you guys think is your favorite. Get a give them a close look. Okay, uh, show them over there too. Okay, and then. Welcome to the upstairs of my collection, guys. Got license plates all there from all different years. Oldest is a 1920 license plate right here. A 1924 dealer plate. And we got in here. This is, these have all been mostly donated to me. Thank you guys very much. And we got in here. And I even have in the back too, like this. 83 Plymouth Reliant. We got a 69 Chargers right here. We got 59 Imperials. We got 48. We got the Rain Man Buick here. We got a 1950 Studebaker Champion. And then we got four of the BMW series right here. I8, M4, and M5, M1. Three point zero. Jay Leno's signature. Yeah, this is all the signatures from famous people I know. And that's Jay Leno's. It's a support guy who designed all these cars himself. Gene Whitfield. Yeah, and then we got two Anthony. Winfield. Yeah. Famous guy. Yeah, he's the one who made all these cars in this picture. Yeah, and then here's where you do some of your evening yeah, shots. That's where my evening shots are usually taken. We have back there too. We're gonna show them. Mm -hmm. Some old, unrestored vehicles. Oh, these are the rusty ones. Yeah. These are the ones you painted rusty, right? Uh, some of them are, but there's a, well, about 50 50 because I have this guy right here who actually is really rusty. Mm -hmm. It's a real rusty one. Now, uh, this guy and this guy I think are real rusty, but these guys were all patinaed. Yeah, next up, yeah, I'm out here. This is where my newer stuff is, 1999 and older, and newer usually. I need everything newer than 1999 I usually keep in here, other than that guy and that guy. But all these guys are all newer than 1999. Mm -hmm. Here too, yeah. Yep, and then we still have out here. Yeah, well, now let's check in here. Do not enter. Yep, got in here. That's for my cleaning lady, so she, she doesn't speak English, but since she doesn't speak English, there's a picture here for her too. Yeah, and here. These are mostly donated and my very first ones I've ever owned are down here. Well, this is my very first one I ever owned right here. 1929 Lincoln. This guy was my second one I ever owned. It was a very old. Yep. And then we have a 89 
Country Squire wagon right here. That's from Terminator, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a. It's actually a '79. We got a '59 Cadillac here. '59. You guys see this one a lot on there. I post a lot about that one. This one I just posted a few nights ago. These two together I posted a few nights ago. Mm -hmm. Now this guy was one I restored a while back. I made it into a rat rod. Back here too. This, we have a cool cabinet, some guy, some old guy passed away who owned this cabinet and all these vehicles in it. And then the daughter donated me this whole cabinet with all the cars in it that he owned. Mm -hmm. We have all the cars in it, but on the top, this one I got and I custom made it into my own trucking company. Top there, you see it? And then we got down here, 58 Golden Hawk right there. We got a, we have 3100s here. And then we have the Foraging vehicles right here from foreign countries. Those are all, and then we have back here too. We got a 58, 19, two 1958 Buicks Special Limited right there. We got a 61 Catalina there. A 2022 Corona Segre Guerra, a 63 Buick Riviera, and we got here, Police, Woodenville Police. And then next to it, we have Los Angeles Police. And then we have another 59 Buick there, and a 58 Estel here, and in here. These are all the really old ones from like the 1910s right here. That's my oldest one right there. An 1886. Pretty good. And here we come. Got these are these are all the higher end ones right here. We got a 1960 Plymouth, 59 Pontiac, Oldsmobile, 59, a 59 Dodge, 58 to 57 Ford, and a 54 53 Chevrolet. These are the tuners right here. The customized SL2 right there. We got a customized NSX. We got a. And down here are the off roaders. And now check this guy out. some motorbikes up yeah, there. Yeah, these are all motorcycles here. We have the oldest one, it's a 1915 Harley Davidson there. We got a bunch of Mustangs here. New, oldest generation, 19, first one rolled off was 1963. And then we got here are all the vans. This one I completely customized. It used to look like this one right here, but I made it into that. And then we have NASCARs here. We have hot rods down here, and on the very bottom, we got trucks. <coughs> yeah, over here, the dealer FOMO ones from 1950s and 60s that go all the way down there. We got a 53 Packer with the dice in it. We got a 4 there, caveman from 2007. We got a, and here's the old hoarding scene. We got a 1990 Ford F-250 that's been rusty. We have a, a 1979 F-250 that's rusty and a, a 1961 Porsche. 58 DeSoto four-door sedan that's rusty. No one saved it because it's a four-door. <laughs> we got an old rusty 1954 Ford F-100. And we got this Studebaker Champion. Yeah, but there is a Ford or the Ford or that someone saved right there. 56 Ford Town Stand Ford or. Bye guys.